Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Mahal Future Fight content and we're back with some more Ghost Rider Tier 4 gameplay. Before that, I have something to show you. Obviously, we will go through the World Boss Legend, GBR Solo and blah, blah, blah. I'll also do a like a gene com sort of comparison. So let me know in the comment section if you do want to see it. So there's a new community event, new spookiest uniform and team event and you will be able to get some extra rewards for this thing so all you have to do it's just like the old event that we used to get copy your uh you know your player id or whatever and you have to post uh you know make a post like this spookiest team slash your in-game name so my name is like kosh12345 i'll put it there i'll put a screenshot of the character uh like maybe blackboard it could be it's hella and this thing so whoever matches sort of like the theme you can check the characters out and you can just post it on the forums on the uh, proper board and you should be able to receive the rewards later on when they announce the uh, completion of the event also one more thing before we go into it uh, a lot of people have been thinking about what was the patch 27 28 mbs there was a bug about uh, in the archive event new one going on so they fixed it also, by the way, about these new archive things that you can get, obviously, Odin's Blessing and P-Card. You can get that through uh, Dimension Mission, the first one, Armor. The, uh, what is that, King's Helmet or Helm, whatever it is. Uh, you can get it to this Dispatch. And the next one is actually Story Mode. So, yes, do definitely play Dimension Mission, Dispatch and story i think dispatch is going to be the hardest because it takes more time so run dispatch i would say at least 20 30 times you know uh try to run it every single day if you can and you should be able to get this rewards i would say try to get them as soon as possible because uh, sometimes you just don't have time remaining that has happened to me in the past so anyways now let me just show you the run with ghost rider first of all we will go one versus one gbr solo and it, it was nice actually so I'm gonna just start the rotation normal and the normal rotation can easily one shot it's by the way i forgot to mention the build it is a brilliant rate gr that i showed you in the video so yeah it's gonna be a max build gr uh about uh, otherwise like uh, the tier 3 rotation and everything you can see the damage is pretty nice here as well and uh, i think we were able to also almost like two shot this phase as well so basically three rotations to get GBR Dormammu down 927 is the time I'll try and do a video for gene comparison and other meta comparison to see how fast he is for Solo I think gene also does about the same time. So I think that he's very close now We go against null stage 69, which is again is gonna be a piece of cake. Look at this uh, One rotation we go down to 30th bar uh, He just absurdly strong against villains and I think it will be even better with a judgment Okay, remember, uh, Rage is not exactly the best CTP for, uh, what was that, uh, World Boss Legend. For Elemental characters, same goes for Odin as well. Odin performs extremely well compared to a Rage, uh, you know, with a Judgment in World Boss Legend. And he is one of the strongest. And now Ghost Rider also is one of the strongest uh, for World Boss Legend. Because basically, every single World Boss Legend is a villain. Unless they decide to do, you know, some ultimate, ultim like, not ultimate, legend world boss for Quicksilver and other guys. So, we will see about that. 418, easy clear. Mostly one-shotting every single phase. So, that works fine. Let's move on to the next one. It's gonna be Mephisto. I forgot the stage. Um, it was stage 74. Yeah, so, it's uh, it's gonna have the same thing. I think one rotation and we obviously broke through the barrier. 74 pretty amazing and then we go through this sadly ghost riders uh, oh well doesn't matter well <laughs> one shot the phase again and now let's see what we can do with this so we also have this one we almost one shotted uh i wish i had the tier 3 rotation here but i did not but this uh before he can do anything i think we should be able to do it pretty nicely 426 easy clear looks pretty nice okay so mephisto is done null is done now let's move on to i think ultron and this is i believe ultron stage 50 or something yeah 54 so ultron stage 54 i'm not sure if i tried gore because i think there was no restriction that i could actually use ghost rider on like higher that i actually had 
uh, available on this account so as you can see he is still like eighth phase we already are here and he should be able to do enough damage for one more rotation to basically kill this stage as well <laughs> in like 27 seconds so yeah he is uh, uh, definitely powering through judgment will be better so e even if you don't have a op ghost rider judgment should do fine now this is a lot of people have been thinking can he do stage 50 or 250 for kang the answer is yes it's still gonna take some time it's not gonna be like others uh, because uh, obviously kang is much harder actually the hardest uh, compared to all the other world boss legends at this point but you can yeah you can play kang and you can do kang stage 50 plus if you have a ghost rider now again this is with the ctp of rage ghost rider judgment ghost rider is will be stronger it should be stronger i think so uh like judgment always has been the better version uh compared to a ctp of rage specifically for world boss legend odin is a very good example and odin like really performs extremely well compared to his rage build like he can still do it with a rage but if you have a judgment it just makes things much more easier and as you will see uh, as the run progresses i kind of actually messed up as well now the second skill of ghost Rider helps you you know uh, get out of the way when there will be the purple attacks so that you don't die and whatever but that works well so just over a minute we are down to the first uh, well, 30 second bar phase now this this could be trouble sometimes but also what you can do i would say is just go through uh whatever skills you have and try to destroy all those things and i, I made a mistake i should have started attacking already but i think we should be able to get this thing down slowly come on i think yeah it took me some time but i kind of messed it up that was my mistake i shouldn't have done that but anyways it kind of wasted slight of my time i think you know but it will be better once i get used to it. this was literally i think my second attempt on this stage first i really messed it up so i had to restart and this run also was a messed up run and you will see as the run progresses i actually missed a couple of skills uh <laughs> i don't know what i was doing i was trying to just spam and then i got like panicked or something and then did that so anyways we are back uh it's three minutes remaining it's gonna be comfortable easy clear i think 23 bars remaining the last few actually get really tough so this one is gonna be a bit tough uh so until i think the eighth bar when the last phase comes around the last phase was easy it was not that of that much of an issue this one can create some issues because it actually has that purple attack look at that my hp is halfway through already and i need to get out of here or i could die with maybe next animations here and there so i'm trying to spam as you can see i'm not even looking at what skills i'm doing i got my fourth skill cancelled so as you can see this is not exactly how you would want to play ghost rider at this point but look at that i missed the tier 3 skill i i got my fourth skill cancelled once again so this was a really really messed up run from me he can do it much faster and he will do it much faster i'm almost dead <laughs> i hope i don't die uh i guess let's see 12 hours remaining again look at that i missed totally missed the four, four, uh, the fifth skill <laughs> i really messed the run up uh so i think i i made it look bad okay he can do it much faster than what i'm showing you like we had so many of these phases look at that i'm getting hit i don't even care about dying the good thing is that you i can actually have the artifact uh for ghost Rider. so if you have that that's a plus for you because even if you're going to die you will not die because it's the immortality artifact so i think world boss legend is gonna come in clutch uh the last eight bars are remaining again it's not gonna be uh, a piece of cake to deal so much damage but it's also not gonna be some incredibly hard thing to do and we should be able to get him down now 111 kang stage 54 done can be definitely much much faster with the judgment even with this rage the run was not that good so he's amazing one shot gbr he's crazy for world boss legend and with the judgment the build is going to be even better i'll try and compare her uh, compare him with black widow maybe he might be the best striker again in abx as well replacing that so we will see let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about ghost Rider. and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one
he's pretty amazing actually no doubt